Hi, Caroline. Hi. 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 Guess what? It's happy dance time. So I should probably explain why I'm doing my happy dance. I am one of 16 finalists for the Fulbright Summer Institute in Newcastle this summer, which means that I would get to play with old books and be in Newcastle and study at Newcastle University and meet all kinds of amazing people. And oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Uh, my interview is on Wednesday, so keep me in your thoughts. So that's all, moving on. In other exciting news, I finished Homer and Langley, that book that I'd been reading since Christmas. And it was actually pretty good in the end. It was about these two brothers called Homer and Langley. They're the Collier brothers, if you've heard of the Collier Mansion. This is a his this is historical fiction, but it's based on real events. And um, it's really interesting because one of the brothers was a hoarder, and so his house kind of looked like whatever that extreme hoarder show is on TLC, and you like couldn't get into it and stuff. Which made me start to think about all the stuff that I keep and wonder if maybe I am a hoarder in the making. Because I, I keep programs and pictures and essays that I've written and tickets from shows that I've seen and basically everything. I have a lot of keepsakes. I did, however, recently decide that I'm not going to keep any schoolwork other than essays. That was a big decision for me. Up until that point, I had been keeping like worksheets from second grade. So at least I've got those cleaned out, right? Do you guys keep things? Is it weird that I keep so much stuff? I mean, you can just kind of look at my bulletin board behind me. These are, these, this is a fraction of everything I keep. I've got like free song coupons from Starbucks over there. I have a name tag from a retreat where I was a volunteer. I have a flower from curtains that I used to have in my bedroom. I have a sketch that I drew on the back of a receipt while I was waiting for my dad at a Boy Scout meeting. And I have a fake $100 bill from when my French teacher last year gave me fake money after my bank account got cleaned out because somebody stole my debit card. These are the flowers that I got after my first starring role in a play in high school. Funny story, I didn't actually mean to keep those flowers, but I just let them dry out in the vase and then realized that they had dried instead of like dying and rotting. So then I kept them. I'm not really sure how you dry flowers intentionally though. Something I did was right though, apparently. So yeah, I keep lots of things. Any, anything and everything, I keep it. Anyway, so now I'm reading Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and I'm almost done. And after that, I think I'm going to read Looking for Alaska because I haven't read that one yet and I feel like I should as a nerd fighter. And then I have a really long uh, to read list. So thank you for all of your book suggestions. They're all at the top. And I am excited. Also, I realized I haven't actually talked about the Doctor Who season very much. So first of all, did this week's episode remind you of Pirates of the Caribbean? Because it reminded me of Pirates of the Caribbean. Also, I like your theories about the Time Lord child thing. I'm also intrigued by the idea that it's the doctor's daughter, but like regenerated. And I'm wondering how this whole age thing works out. Like, are we gonna have a doctor eventually who's really a six-year-old? Like what constraints are there? And if you are a child time lord, how long are you a child time lord? I just don't really get the age thing with the whole regeneration thing. I find it confusing, but I'm still in love with the season a lot. And um, I love Matt Smith. That's all. I will see you tomorrow, Caroline.